This is Perkins Rocha, a lawyer for the Venezuelan opposition. He was arrested by unidentified men at the end of August. Since then, his son Santiago Rocha, who lives in Spain, hasn't heard from him. Witnesses told us they grabbed him by the neck and dragged him across the pavement to one of the vehicles they were in. They put him in the car and drove away. He's been charged with terrorism, treason, incitement to hatred, conspiracy. Five charges, which is literally everything my dad is not. Despite the uncertainty and fear, Santiago Rocha stays optimistic. He says his father will be released sooner or later. Perkins Rocha is one of more than 2,000 opponents of the government who have been arrested since July's election. Political persecution in Venezuela has intensified since the government-controlled electoral council declared Nicolas Maduro the winner. In the meantime, the EU and other countries have recognized Edmundo González as the democratically elected president. Together with the opposition leader Maria Corina Machado, he contests the results. He's now in Spain, where he's been given political asylum. Spain is home to hundreds of thousands of Venezuelans who have left because of the political and economic crisis. Raimundo Dalto left too. He runs a bar in Madrid and sees strong parallels between the fate of Edmundo González and other Venezuelans. He is a victim, just like the more than 8 million Venezuelans who have had to leave for one reason or another. He is another victim. He has not been able to remain in his country safely to be able to take office because we have been mocked by the regime. Many people hope Edmundo González will be sworn in in January. Among them, Juan Pablo García, a member of the inner circle of the Venezuelan opposition, is sure President Maduro's time's up. Anything else would provoke a revolution, he says. In the face of international and national pressure, there will be no other option than to begin a peaceful transition in the next few hours, the next few days which will end with the swearing-in of González Urrutia. There's no way for them to evade what is happening in Venezuela. Analysts, however, remain cautious. Venezuela has strong international allies. Even if González was sworn in, the crisis in Venezuela would be far from over. The Maduro regime is very attached to power. The attempt of other Latin American countries to negotiate through Brazil's President Lula or Colombia's Petro could be the beginning of a solution. But at this moment they are very far from being translated into anything concrete. And if Edmundo González becomes president, the situation will be so complicated that getting out of the hole in which Venezuela currently finds itself will require a titanic effort. But if that effort means the release of the political prisoners and a change of direction for the country, for most Venezuelans, it would be a true victory.